From the jungles to the red carpet, Range Rover really is the only one that does it all. But does it do sport? Range Rover really is king of the hill, isn't it? And I mean that quite literally. Whether you're climbing mountains, traversing rivers, slip sliding your way across ice, Range Rover is renowned, quite rightly, for its off-road capabilities. And, of course, on the flip side, it is equally at home in Beverly Hills or on the school run. It is the favoured vehicle of the rich, famous, and, quite frankly, people with a little bit of class. But when you go and slap, sport on the side of a Range Rover. To people like you and I, that means a great deal. We don't just take that at face value, which is why here on the World's Fastest Car Show, I'm about to put that sport thing to the test in the only way we know how. Now, not many times you can say this in an SUV, but today it's all about the start because this is one very quick SUV. Let me put it into sport mode. Hold on. Oh, I love doing that. Jesus, it hustles. That, by the way, was around 4.9 seconds to 60. But what is so impressive is taking it probably out of its predictable environment and giving it hell on a racetrack. Ooh, yeah. For me, there's just a quick period of adjustment right now because my heart and my senses are telling me that I'm in a really fast, capable sports sedan in a way, and yet my mind's saying, no, Justin, you're in a Range Rover Sport, so treat it with respect because she's a, a big girl. But it doesn't feel like it as you come out on the track. And the heart and soul of the Range Rover Sport is the five liter V8, supercharged, 510 horsepower, 461 foot-pounds of torque. And you certainly tell that they've done a lot of work in the mid-range because that five liter V8 is just pumping out tons, gobs of power, right where you need it most, which is mid-corner and midway through the power band. And I think you can tell it, you can feel it. It's just freaking magnificent. Gee whiz. It's got an eight speed gearbox, obviously automatic, but I'm making the most of the well placed little paddle shifters on the steering wheel. I mean, I'm doing 110, 115, 120, 125. Just slow down, down to third gear, pop it into the corner. Let the car take a set, obviously very important to let the weight transfer even more so in something that has quite a high center of gravity, but the Range Rover Sport is actually 800 pounds lighter than its predecessor. They've achieved that through the extensive use of aluminum, 75% of which is actually recycled, but in almost every way it's bigger than the Range Rover Sport that you may know from the past. Flick it through these S's here, I love it. Normally I hate tire squeal, but right now it's quite rewarding. Has really quite good fuel economy on paper, but the way I'm driving it, it's probably pretty miserable. For like all fun cars to drive, I kind of say bollocks to that, just make the most of it. Jesus is fast around that corner. That was 85 mile an hour average around the long right hander there. Now remember, the predecessors to Range Rover Sport were really just based off the LR4 platform, the Land Rover platform. Now, this is 100% a purpose-built Range Rover platform. Wow, good girl. Oh, shit. <laughs> and of course, if you get it wrong, like I just did there, just go across the grass, bollocks. Go across the gravel. No one cares because we're in a Range Rover. <laughs> oh, that's the way to do it, okay. This would have been handy at moments in my career. Do you know that? I 
I could have uh, avoided a lot of embarrassment. Oh shit. Okay, there we are. God, I really fucking love this car. Huh. I really only have two words to say about that experience. Bloody brilliant. Uh, if you ever get the chance to drive one or hopefully own one, then I urge you to give it a little bit of stick because she really enjoys it. It is a very, very fast car. You know, last week I was actually asked in advance of driving this, if I could have one car for the rest of my life, what would that be? That's such a difficult question. But I think it would probably be a Range Rover because they just do everything. It's like a girl that says she never really enjoys it, suddenly enjoying it, you know what I mean? Oh! Actually, uh, I don't know what I mean then, but I just wish I had a couple of the Queen's Corgis in the back. Right now, they'd be vomiting everywhere. There's nothing to sniff at. Sniffer? Schnuffer? Schnuffler?